I got the role through many auditions. I had about four auditions for the role. I, uh, my first audition was in Nottingham at the television workshop. Uh, and I've been going there for about four or five years now. Uh, and I do sort of improvisation and, and things there, three hours a week on a Friday. So um, from that, the audition came through from the television workshop. And uh, I did a huge workshop there with loads of people. and. They auditioned transgender people and girls and boys because they weren't really sure on what they were looking for, the director and the casting director. So I had that audition, which was sort of just to see if you can act or not. And then um, second was to have chemistry reads with um, the other, other characters. So the person who was playing Tommy and the mum and the dad and things like that to see if we got on or not. And um, then the final one was like all day long. I remember it was, it was really, it was quite tiring. We had to do some of the scenes that were in the film. Um, so there was one of them, was the one uh, with when the dad comes in and catches me putting makeup on. So we did, we did that scene in the rehearsal with um, Steve. Uh, and uh, that, was, that was a pretty intense day. And then uh, they did the, the monologue with the Nana. Um, and just like exercises like that on how you know transgender people would walk and uh, just like little things like their emotions and the uh, the writer Peter would be like explaining to us all. So that was the casting process. And then I found out two days after or so after the last audition. And yeah, it was quite sudden. And yeah, three weeks later, filming. I spoke to a boy at the television workshop called Ben, who would uh, he's around 20 now. And um, he just recently transitioned from a girl to a boy. And so I spoke to him um, for quite a bit of time talking about his personal life and um, you know his relationship with his mum and his dad because his, his dad didn't agree with him transitioning. So, and which is much like uh, in Just Charlie. So to speak to him about those sort of intimate things was really useful in research because um, I didn't really know a lot about um, the whole topic itself, so that was really helpful, yeah. Yeah, no, I, well, I hadn't really thought about the whole topic before because I was 14, so I didn't really, uh, I was quite young, so I didn't really know anything about it. So um, doing research, like watching daytime interviews um, with young people um, and old to see the differences so I could suss out, you know, what, how the younger trans people, how, what their lives are like in comparison. So, um, yeah, um, I mean, even like films like The Danish Girl, like, you know, with Eddie Redmayne, they, they really help because, you know, the sort of when he's sort of feeling himself and he doesn't feel like he's in the right body and things, all those little touches, like in those shots, they really help me in the film because it's Eddie Redmayne did a lot of sort of feeling insecure and there's some shots in the film where I, I did that in like the church and you, you feel Charlie's sort of, you, you sort of give him a bit of sympathy because you you just feel really bad for him because he's in this he's in the wrong body he doesn't feel right and he's mm -hmm. you can tell yeah so yeah it's the reaction's been great I mean because you you go into festivals and <coughs> all the festivals have different age ranges that people go and see the film so I think that's great because the audience is is it's a you know it's a general audience there's not you aren't you aren't getting audiences um, a younger audience or an older audience you're getting all ages, which is great. So the reactions have been different from different ages, like younger people of, um, you know, obviously because younger people are a little bit like teen, young teens are a bit immature. So they, they see the whole topic as, you know, they, they find it funny when it's not, and they don't really know a lot about it. Whereas um, people my age, like, t like today, they, they know a lot as much, probably as close to as much as I do. So, um, you know, their reactions and their questions are a bit more sort of intellectual, you could say. And then the older people, because they have, you know, older people who are very traditional. Well, I've just recently finished playing um, a young John Tolkien in uh, Tolkien <laughs> with uh, Fox Searchlight with Nicholas Holt and things. So that was really great to do that. And, uh, and that was like an insane budget, like the scale of the production was huge and there was you know big old cranes and drones and there was huge like war scenes and things with the trenches and 
so all of that was really cool you know to see the difference of of a big scale like Hollywood film like that to just Charlie you know and have the difference and it, that was quite it was interesting and you know as well like Charlie you're playing a real character um, which was really fun to play and you're you're acting alongside like there was in the same film Derek Jacobi and Pam Ferris and Cole Meany and things there's like some big actors in there so just at the eight, I feel like lucky as well to to be in a film with them at, at 16 that's, that's, that was really fun, and I mean, with other things in the future, I just keep me to auditioning, and I've got a few auditions that I'm quite high up in, but we'll see whether anything comes of them or or not. We'll see. Yeah.